Okay, welcome to your tutorial on how to find the greatest common factor. If I could spell that right, between two numbers. And also, the symbol for that is just GCF. Um, there's other terms for the same thing. For example, greatest common divisor, which is GCD. Um, there's, for example, highest common factor. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, these are the ones you most normally will come in contact with. They mean the same thing. A factor is, for example, let's just look at the factors of 6. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. For example, 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 6 is 6. So then you also have the factor pairs. Right? But the point is, those are the factors. They're also divisors, because any of these numbers will divide evenly into 6. So either way you want to look at it, whether they're factors or divisors, it's the same thing. So what we want to look at today is, if I were to say look at the numbers, I'll just put it in red, the numbers 12 and 6, we want to find what's the greatest common factor between them. For example, let's look at the factors of 12. Now this is the slow way, okay? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And then for 6, we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. We already saw that. Okay? And you can go and verify this yourself. But basically, 1 times 2 is 12. Or I'm sorry, 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. And then we already explained why those are the factors of 6. Now, obviously, if you just look at this list, right, you have the greatest number that they have in common is 6. So in this simple case, the GCF, and we write it like this, GCF of, uh, this is how we write it, 12 comma 6, or it might be 6 comma 12. Uh, the greatest common factor between those equals 6. Okay, so this is how you would actually note it. You could write um, the greatest common divisor if you wanted. Either way. Now, that's fine. We can, uh, if we wanted to, find the common, the greatest common factor between any two numbers like that by just listing out their factors and finding the one that's highest that they have in common. But what if, for example, we have now uh, let's just take an example of 252 and 105. Now, this may not take that long to list out all the factors, but just imagine if we were dealing with really big numbers like a million and, and two billion and things like that. It would take quite some time to list out all the factors and then to compare them and find the highest one. Now, uh, what I'm going to show you is a trick. It's it's an algorithm and it's called Euclid's algorithm uh, for finding the greatest common factor or greatest common divisor. It's actually very simple. So the steps are this. We take our two numbers and I'm just going to choose a different color here. And we find the difference between them. So 252 minus 105. And that is 147. And you can go get a calculator and verify that if you don't believe me. Um, now, the way you do Euclid's algorithm, so that's the first step, right? You take the difference between them, which is the number we just found, and then you also find of these two numbers on the left side, the one that is the smaller. So for example, this is the one we want to use. 
So we take 147, I'm just going to switch my colors again, 147 and minus 105. So we take this number, which is the difference between the original two, and we subtract from it the smaller of these two numbers. See? So then if we do that difference, we get, what do we get? we would get 42. Now again, the next step is just like the last one, except now we have a new difference. And of these two numbers on the left side, this is again the smaller one. But always we want to look for which is the smallest. So now we're going to do, on the next line, 105 minus 42. Now if we do that, that gives us 63. Now we're going to continue doing this, and I'll show you when we're going to stop. So we take, again, the difference here, which is 63. We subtract. Now this time the smaller number is not 105 anymore, it's 42, so we're going to use that number. So 63 minus 42. That gives us 21. Now, one more step. 21 and oh let me correct that we want the difference here and then the smaller of these two numbers again which is 42 on this left side and then minus 21 that gives us 21 now if we did this one last time we use the difference here minus the smaller of these two numbers that gives us 0 now this is where we stop once we get 0 and once we get 0 the number we use to get that, which happens to be 21 in this case, that is our greatest common factor between these two numbers. So I'll just write that here. The greatest common factor of 105 and 252 equals 21.